In the echoes of time, archaeologists have unearthed chilling tales from the Stone Age, uncovering the remains of ritualistic murders scattered across Europe. These victims, separated by locations and spanning over 2,000 years, met their end in an eerily identical manner. Their necks were bound to their legs bent backward, a horrific method known as incapredimento, leading to a self-inflicted strangulation. A tomb in southern France forms the cornerstone of this study. Here, three women's remains were discovered, with at least two believed to have been deliberately murdered in a sacrificial ritual, possibly buried alive. Intriguingly, the tomb's proximity to grain-grinding stones hints at a connection to agriculture and fertility, suggesting that these rituals were intertwined with the very essence of life and survival. As the researchers delved deeper into the archives of Neolithic burials, they found evidence of 20 similar sacrificial murders across 14 sites, all dating between 3,500 and 5,400 BC. This unique form of torture was a common thread binding these sites together. The reasons for this method remain shrouded in mystery, with some theorizing that it absolved individuals from the act of murder, as the victims in the end strangled themselves. However, it's important to remember that bones can only tell us so much. The true nature of these rituals will forever elude our grasp. The oldest site was found in the Czech Republic and the youngest in southern France, indicating that this practice endured for at least 2,000 years, dating back to as far as 5,400 BC. And yet some evidence suggests that this gruesome tradition could trace its roots even further back. Engravings in Sicily's Edora Cave depict humans tied in the same position, dating back to the Mesolithic era, between 14,000 and 11,000 BC. In the grand scheme of history, these findings are but a whisper of the past, a chilling reminder of the lengths our ancestors went to ensure survival and prosperity.